But torture? You think that causes high blood We're pressure? Not film yet. We're filming. Oh, action. Action. Big head back. There we go. So, we can watch yesterday's show. Lame. So, do you think torture? Who the fuck is that guy? Is that Michael Moore? No, that's Jay Maynard. I live in a single family home. Uh, I have a roommate. Uh, it's three bedrooms and full of computers. Between us, we have 46. Hours. I'm 5'9 and. I can't imagine why I can't get a date. My favorite food, I guess I'd have to say, is lasagna. Got a little bit of dark food. My second favorite movie is kind of hard to say. Uh, it would have to be either the first Star Wars or else one of the even numbered Star Treks. My favorite TV show is Anime Guys. I believe it's not only the best cartoon series, but probably the best humor made in the 90s. I have I to agree. Uh, to Except for maybe. Uh, uh, hang on. I'm listening to and him. The yeah. of that is because she is assertive and knows exactly what she wants. I think I make a good boyfriend because I'm an interesting person. My dream woman is somebody who is interesting. I've never had a steady girlfriend. I don't know that I have anything really attractive about myself. I never consider myself all that attractive. I have been told I have nice legs. I don't know if I'm a good kisser or not. I'll have to leave that to you to judge. ABC.com, you can date him. The Tron man? The Tron guy, yeah. <sighs> Greetings, programs. I'm Jay Maynard, the Tron guy. I'm 44 years old. I just turned 44 a few weeks ago. I live in a single family home. Yeah, I've seen uh, it. I have a roommate. Uh, it's three bedrooms. And so that was pretty good, huh? No bad starter. The Tron guy wants a date. So we go to jimmykimmel.com abc and date the tron guy hey I, you know he's just my type computer geek 40 computers i date him he didn't say women only did he that's what he might have been funny this kind of unregulated soft money <coughs> this isn't funny no but did you hear him say that he wanted that ad removed because that's what the newspaper screamed when they heard him say that you know i'm so tired of fucking hearing that politics yeah computers you're sick of computers right i'm sick we were years ago we were sick of computers i've been sick of computers for a while mm -hmm. yeah tv i'm sick of tv all tv all tv yeah, unless it's a uh, got a sporting event uh-huh then i'll watch it the Olympics are okay. They're, they're, it's passable. Yeah, you know you, what I like about the Olympics? Did you watch the Olympics? Olympics last night? Yeah. Did you see the uh, American gymnast get booed off the stage? Oh, yeah. When the uh, Russian Did you guy... see the Russian's fucking thing, though? He'd get up there, he'd undo and then catch it again three times through his legs... And then he did one of them over-the-top buckles and come back around and catch it. He did like five or six different loop-de-loops, let go, catch the damn thing, and got back on like five, six times, right? He didn't right? even get a medal. And when he came down, he took a half a stutter step. Now, the degree of difficulty, I'm no expert, of course, That's but the, the degree key. of a difficulty would have been twice what anybody so you, else was. you were in the fans booing with them. Fuck yeah. Did you hear those motherfuckers? They did not. These are Greeks too, man. They were pissed. Oh, bad. He had to get up. He goes, thank you, thank you, and then does this, you know, sit down. And they calmed down. A little bit till the American went up and they started whistling again. So it wasn't all because of his performance. Right. Some of it's reacting to that fucker getting a medal from the day before uh -huh. he didn't deserve. Right, because that. Uh, so that leads. They me, stopped it and changed his the, score, but didn't change his score good enough to get in the medals. That that leads me to believe mm -hmm. that the Olympics are fixed. And have been for years, quite frankly, yes. <coughs> and I couldn't. Who was it? It was Indonesia and Canada who voted the the ones that against the Russian, right? So what are those countries got against Russia? You know, I don't know where politics would play into it. There, it sucks, don't it? It sucks. The best man did not win at the Olympics, and I think that guy who got the gold medal from America, Han, 
he's forever going to be tainted goods. I mean, he's going to be going, I got the gold, and everybody's going to be going, yeah, you did. <laughs> you know, it's it's tainted. It had to be bad. It's only uh, yeah, 75% you know, gold, isn't it? If you don't even think in your own heart that you were the best, how could you he accept does, it? Though. He, he does, though. He did think he was best, yeah. He was good. He didn't make any little pamsy mistakes, but he didn't have any degrees of difficulty. He was doing like two well, one arm you, swings. That you know of. Those one arm swings might be harder than the. Well, I'm no expert in the sport, and every four years, me watching it never make me an expert. But you know what you. Them like. people cheering and stuff. They're not experts too, but boy, did they stop it and make them change the scores. Now, that's unheard of. And is that's that even going to come over and taint the woman's all around? Because if that one's fixed, isn't rightly that the other one was fixed too? Oh, hell yes. The first medal since Mary Lou Retton? All of them. Are tainted. And a lot of them, oh man. It's yeah, stinky. I mean, it's, it's stinky. And something stinks. It needs to be hosed out. Along with all the, he's going to talk to you from the ass, I think. He goes, shove it up my ass from now on. I was getting out of the way unless Smells. that was a weapon of mass destruction you were unveiling. <laughs> no, that's the weapon of mass destruction. Right no, there. see, man, I got. I need to take a bath after we're done with this one because, man, yeah, you I'm know, putting on the underwear. I'm going, is the yellow in the front or is the brown in the front? And I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Shit. The yellow goes in front. <laughs> Unless you want to change, and then you just turn them inside Drinking out. Water this morning, Jay. Is that Coffee and water. Side? Coffee and water. Coffee and water. Yeah, just because it's cheap. No amount of groceries. I gotta go grocery shopping. I think I better bathe before I do that. What do you think we ought to do, man? Let's do something. <coughs> All right. I'm so bored. I know. I tell. I could tell. Shit. Don't want to talk politics. No. We did sports. That was it, though. Any more sports? We can do post-it notes. No, I, got, I, I got a new post -it. golf driver. How come you don't golf, man? Yamaha. All right. Is that her? Put it on. Sadamicas. <laughs> this is a thought concentrator. It's they they don't really sit up there very good, it's do they? It's not a very good hat. No. Jay. Ow! See, I got injured. Oh, dude, you're not going to sue. Here, bear, quick, put, put him down. <laughs> Let's not hurt anybody. Man, I feel like my arm's chopped off. My laptop's back to Sony. Give me those. What, well, you want them back? Me. Yeah. Okay. You're going to do Mickey Mouse? <laughs> Somehow I didn't know that you wasn't going to do Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Is this Mickey Mouse? No, that's not Mickey Mouse. That's Mickey Mouse. No, that's not Mickey Mouse. That's pretty cool. Turn them sideways. Uh, I There's can, Frankenstein. I can hear the ocean. It's the monster. I can hear the waves, Jay. Mm -hmm. I use MP3s. I don't even use put, waves anymore. Put, put one over here. You here, I do it myself. It doesn't work with just one. You gotta have two. What? Isn't that weird? It's the cone of silence. That's awesome, really. Isn't that weird? Can you hear the ocean? That is awesome. Those are bad. Think we could sell them? We just put a big head strap across and then people could put them on their ears and walk down the street. It's ear weird. protectors. Ear protectors, yeah. Well, it makes you hear different. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of the bottom out. Yeah, it's like you're in a can. All right, I'll give you a Mickey Mouse, though. Hey! <laughs> Here. You ready? Yeah. No, that's the Mickey Mouse. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. M-U-N-C-I-E-M-E. It's a B-L-O-M-E, Mr. Bellomey. B-L-O-M-E M-U-N-C-I-E B-L-O-U-E Good thing we can't spell. We'd be dangerous. Alright, what are we seriously, seriously, what are we doing today? No sports. That's bullshit, man. 
Well, what have you been doing on the computer lately? Nothing. No apps. Nothing new. Isn't that suck? I'm all up Big Brother's ass, and I'm still doing movies. Easy. Well, I watch it 24-7. Easy. I'm a freak. Easy. I take pictures of them when they're not looking. Um, okay. We have the movie Exorcist 2. You do? Yeah. Awesome. Is it awesome? No. Just seen half of it last night. I was scared to go to sleep. <laughs> Every time a fly come in the room, I'd go, Satan, is that you? <laughs> Every time a fly came. Hey, we got flies in there, man. Satan was a fly? Yeah, they got... Hell, this one woman had a baby, and it turned out that it, the baby was, had maggots eating it and shit. It was nasty looking. Can tell. Gross. I know. And the Jekylls ripped the fuck out of a guy. On The Exorcist? This is in the first half. I can't even imagine what they're going to do in the second half. And I got, uh, what else? You can't else? kill the devil, can you? No, but this is the prequel, so you know he's going to be Damien next go-round. I think he's a little black child this time because the bed was shaking and everything. They couldn't control it. And Napoleon Dynamite. I think it's my life story, but I'm not Napoleon sure. Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, you ever heard of that one? It's about a, a geek geeky kid or something in his love life. It's a true story, I guess. You know, which brings up the point, if you can't get laid and then you wrote a movie about your life and then you cast a real good looking star across in the part and then you get laid with that, that'd be like a perfect ending to a movie, wouldn't it? I read yesterday they're making that movie. Boring. I don't know. A geek that can't get laid, and then you write it into the script that you get laid, so you finally get laid. That's one way to get cure laid. your problem, right? But would anybody see the movie now if they known you gotten laid? Right. Hence the problem. Hence the problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have to agree that you know portions <laughs> oh, of yeah. yesterday's show probably. Yeah, where were we? Let's go. It's up and down. I mean, let's make this a show to remember that we get a rep. Fucking candy on the fucking battlefield. It is I say fucking all so the time. At least humanity will have. I'm all about humanity. Without the president's uh, push. No press thing. He got the front row seat to witness the whole head exploding bang. And would you keep your mouth shut after you've seen somebody ever put a bullet through their head like that? Fuck, they can't. You notice something about that? Yeah. You didn't talk much, did you? No. You gotta run the show sometimes. I know it's they, we say J and Dig, but now nah, it's the Dig and J sometimes. Uh, no. I don't have anything to say. I'm boring. I'm bored and I'm boring. All right, let's talk servers. Al Hayes is gonna get in touch with you. He's going to ask, is it a good idea to buy a T1 or a partial T1 to run his internet business from? <coughs> How the hell is he going to make money doing it? You don't already have it paid for? He's got about 10 customers, maybe. A 10 customer base. <coughs> Are they bitching because it's always down? Well, no, he is. But I am, too. Then, Shit, then, it's always what, down. What's the problem? The DSL isn't down, is it? They won't let him do the business on it, apparently. Uh -huh. They won't let him get a separate phone and a separate DSL. He can't host on them. Right. No, no servers. servers. Right. Well, he can if he gets a T1. Yep. 700 bucks a month. Well, he got it down to 50, but then now he's 50 even 50 a thinking, month? No, 500 a month. 500 bucks a month for a T. Mm hmm But then... And he's thinking about a quarter tee. One. Yeah, I'd get a whole tee. But then you got to come up with 500 a month for 12 months is $6,000. You got to be pretty much sure you're going to make $20,000 at this enterprise. 
And even then, after all your repairs and everything, you probably only be pulling down ten thousand dollars a year. Well, in reality, if he wants to attract good customers and big clients, he needs to be redundant. So he needs to have one, two lines. Well, he's hosted offline. He's hosted out there by a host. Right. His problem is, is when his shit crashes frequently, the host ain't really fast about getting about putting it, reinstalling it, or get, fixing it. Why doesn't he get a new host? Is he the one crashing or is the host? I think the host does. Well, then he needs a new host. Mm -hmm. Right. That's point one. And why can't he have two hosts? Two hosts so that when one goes down, it automatically goes to the other. In fact, all the time it splits between the two and you balance out your load. Every other request goes to the other one. If it ain't hitting on this one, they all go to that one. You'd have to get two that would want to work together. And they probably would, if they're legit. And that, I mean, that's pretty easy, isn't it? I mean, but my host rarely ever goes down. Goes down at ever, right. And you never catch a lot of the websites. Well, you do sometimes. At Bark Cop Entertainment's been in and out because of Yahoo fucking with them. Bark Cop's hosted by Mark Perkle. Right. And uh, it's hardly ever down. Right. But what's he running? You know, are we running off of his DSL, wherever he lives? I bet he's got an OC3, redundant OC3s mm -hmm. with uh, BSD. Now, how much action. does that cost a month? 12000 bucks. Times 12 is uh, $48,000 a year. I don't even, I've never made 50000 in one any one year. You know, this is the thing. When you get that kind of bandwidth, this is the things that you can do with that. Mm -hmm. You can go to big companies like uh, Ford or wherever, Fortune 500 companies, and belly up in their IT department and right. do, uh, you know, backup services and co-locations type stuff. From their corporate yeah. everything. Yeah. You can do their entire ghosting or something. Yeah. And you ghost it offline too so that it's double redundant in case there's a fire that destroys the whole machine. Yeah. So if you ghost it onto your own machine and it burns like, up in a fire, you're right. kind of fucked anyway. I get, when the World Trade Centers get hit, a lot of those companies. Uh, I have a question there. about that. Go ahead. Mm hmm. Uh, Every one of their computers. The infrastructure goes down uh -huh. well, immediately. The whole infrastructure is mirrored off-site co-locations. New people. Jersey or wherever they had the co-locator. Right. And people can report there for work and mm -hmm. get everything they have. What did they miss in data that day? Nothing. No, they did. A lot of the bank accounts that were flying through there at the last second, giant bank trades, a lot of them became unrecorded. So that, like, if you withdrew... Ten million dollars from your account, and it crashed. Then they still think you got the ten million, and you got the ten million in your other account. So, do you think any of those people that we could trace them somehow that did that, that got paid twice, got the money transferred, and then didn't get the money? Know. Probably not. Would any of those just they just fortunate or lucky guessers? You know, let's push the button, sell now. I would think that they'd be liable. <coughs> so I know if I make a three million dollar deposit, if it's how there. many computers do you think was in there with everybody's hard drives that actually had mission critical <coughs> information? Every floor probably had more than a hundred, probably up in thousands. Now, well. There was probably 10, 20 servers per company. Floor, at least. Yeah. And then have a bank of another 100 computers off of it, say, right? Sure, but what you do is over the internet, then you mirror the whole system. Right. But everybody's incremental backups from the base little computer didn't make it out the server out to the... No. 
Is there some data you would pay to recover? Because they recovered a lot of hard drives. Well, in, in reality, you're wrong, too. If I've got an SQL database over here mm -hmm. and one over here mm -hmm. on the colo side, when a transaction gets made, it gets made to both to databases the before it gets updated. You're saying that all them individual computers don't matter, they're just clients to the database where the database is stored. So the database needs to be backed up. And I just like saying database. So, right, you, all you do is do database replication and route specializes in that. And you, you can get clients. But as each transaction's made okay. by wire okay. through their financial companies up there, it gets recorded in a database. And there wasn't a point that they were still flying through and getting accepted. The same instance that it came down and they quit working was the instant it stopped. Huh? Yeah. It's either in or it's out. You know, chances are highly likely once the one plane slammed into the buildings, they were shutting their shit down. And quitting. Right. See, that's what I'm thinking, is that they ordered them away from their desk. They walked away with their computers running. A lot of trades are automatic. They don't need anybody to push an approve button. Right, but it still wouldn't matter, Jay. It'd be running while they're away from the desk, and they could have run some big money through it. You know? I'd like this old American Airlines right then, but I didn't own any stocks at that point. I bought them a few weeks later. <laughs> what a dildo brain, man. <laughs> a dick brain, man. I believe them. Patriotic thing to do. Buy stocks. Okay. Invest $20,000 in stocks. I'm a patriot. <laughs> well, think about it. You know, we're at war. What have they asked us to do? They wanted us to buy Visqueen and duct tape. What's that for, Jay? I haven't figured it out yet. They must have had a reason. Uh, our first caller. Better get some. Hello? Hey, what's happening? Oh, good. We'll be dot netting it, huh? Sounds cool. It's 2003. We already got that one. We ain't got that one either. My buddy. Yeah, I'll be hanging out. Oh, no. It's about time, I imagine. All right, I want it. See ya. Huh? Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, yeah, you got hammered anyway. They don't even need you to hit the sights anymore. I'll leave mine on all the time. Yeah, yeah. You got hit with a bad pop-up, right? But, I mean, even most of the sites I go to don't have, you know, I got pop-up blocker. I'm using Google. Right. Well, they're connected. Thank you, Microsoft. You know what I mean? But I haven't heard of that kind of exploit coming in through Messenger yet. It's all in the ads so far. Yeah. Yeah, right. Do you remember seeing that hijack this? On my desktop, you when I was over once, you said, What's that one? Why don't you try that? Because that just tells you you'll see that the one that's hijacking it hijacks your home page, too, don't it? You go to the same home page, right? Click to enter the satellite, huh? Use a hot button. Oh. Right. <laughs> right. You know, I'm not even sending you regular homo or porno. It's homo porno, right? <laughs> mm hmm. 
<laughs> so I'm up for now. He found a bunch of shit in, but that outerwear is good, but it don't get to the root. And to get to the root, I'd try that hijack this if you can get on the download quick enough and download it. If not, I can download it and cut it for you when you come over. Or send it to you, right? I can send it to you. Put it in your FTP. Well, how can you FTP if you're owned? Man, they own you. Mm -hmm. That's their computer that's owned, right? You said you were just working on it, okay. Right. Well, that hijack this, you go through and you, you can pick the shit up off the, that's starting up and just say, don't do that no more, and it quits. Then you can clean it. Try running it in safe mode, too. Did you do that? Do the cleaner in safe mode. It picks up a few more. All right. Well, uh, you're on Matt Messenger. Give me a message of the new IP, and I'll set it over there for you. Mm-hmm. He just gave it to you? <laughs> well, I guess the answer is you can't fix it since he's going to give it to you if you can. <laughs> he wanted it back. Yeah, you're going to have to... You're going to have to clean his hard drive for it, you know. It's his hard drive that's infected. That's the only thing. time to quit. <coughs> I'll talk to you later. Alright. Alright, man. Computer was Exactly. Hey. I'll tell you what, I don't think the internet's gonna last for Who's the common the user. Monitor? The Paizo? Yeah. That's that one there. You gonna send it back? Fuck yes, but I don't have the bill. I've been looking for my receipt, been looking for the credit card charge. It's less than a year old, I think. Maybe it's more than a year. Maybe that's the problem. It sucks. Man. I went by Staples and they couldn't help me. I'm owed fucking $300 for a monitor that don't last a year. I don't think that was worth it. Does Al fix them? Al, Al Rimbarger fix those? Because I don't think it's the screen, I think it's something else. The power or the yeah, card or something. Might be able to do that. It saved me some money. Free? Oh, uh, he don't fix shit for free, does he? No, no, but he can he probably, you know. Do it decent, right. It'll be fixed. Hey, later, decent. Thanks for coming. I mean, bye. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I thought he'd never leave. Now we can get to the Big Brother updates. Today in the Big Brother house. 85. And? We got kitchen. Adria. Or Natalie. Can't listen to dishes very long. Please go back on the pool sheets. I knew it was time for the fish, man. Well, that's why I had it out here. 1130. I need to get my sunglasses. Lockdown. You know what I'm bringing my under right in this window here? Window sill? Okay. It's amazing they use terms in here that are exactly like a prison. You're in lockdown. Mmm. Please lower the shades and strip and get in a line. Oh, 
saving money it's at the studio how do you guys do a TV show with planes flying over like that middle of the show do you hear a low rumble typing here's your water sir <laughs> I am arming <laughs> but you got a lawsuit so I give it to the first guy my the man. one of the actors on the show. He was like, nah, I'll try it this way. <laughs> it was like a joke. <laughs> Marvin, yesterday, won America's Choice. Went to the Young and the Restless set and got four lines and maybe two, three scenes. He'll be appearing next Monday in Young and the Restless. We'll probably see the show tonight where he does it. And then tomorrow... It'll be all over the uh, E.T. Uh, what's some of them shows? As he had all those shows following him around. So now I gotta. So then he said something that's not it. And I said, I'll hook you up. I got your plan. I walk away, get the water bottle, and I come back around, give him the water bottle from the other side. So I thought I'd dress it up like a waiter and say, You want a set? <laughs> like it's a bottle of wine and shit. So he takes it, I pat him on the shoulder, and then cut. And then the next scene, I'm training the hot shit. You know, I train this dude. That's it. Get the hell out of him. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh man. I saw that come out with the coffee and like, oh my Jesus Louise. That part of the dog got it. Gee, you're such a dork. Good God. You eating all that? I wonder you shit so much. Oh, he's the frosting of the fish. Marvin. He's marvelous in this. He's such a marvelous person. No photo ops. Oh well. What did I catch him doing yesterday? Oh, I probably got 20 pictures of Diane adjusting her bra strap. Couldn't get it hooked up right. Never slipped out really, but it came close. I entered one I considered a nipple shot into the contest, and I don't think anybody else believes it's a real nipple shot. Maybe a little Aurora around it. Remember to put it in the J ship folder. Okay. Damien. I'll do that. Another message coming in the show. It says FTP my shit to me. No problem, I say. Problem's gonna be finding it. I think. And J. Bates. I'm logging in. Oh, 
Okay. cap. That's excellent. It's fishman time. Marvin's all decked out. He's a TV star now that he's been on Young and Restless. These guys live on Big Brother show. They keep forgetting. Oh, I am on a TV show. Fuck off. Mm. You know, just teasing. That's your one of them, huh? I can't wait till you guys meet her. Mm. Yeah, we got a trip. We'll see a nice version of you. I know, wasn't it? Yeah, when I was, I was glad at it, really. Really? Yeah, I must have that damn, where that constant bitch that I come to know. <laughs> <laughs> You're too nice. You can't keep up with me. Need somebody who'll be in a bad mood in the morning. Once he's mean, once he's nice, she she can't be mean. She just won't I mean, will not show it to anybody but her boyfriend or me or my family. Mm. Now you ever had a boyfriend that moved in there? Y'all say? Have I ever had a boyfriend that I've lived with? Basically, yeah. I don't know. Really? Well, I practically lived with one once, but. I mean, I had my own place. He had his place. I was just there every damn day. Mm, but no, I thought about being with my ex-boyfriend not too long, like a couple months before I came here. Yeah. And then I thought to myself, hmm, probably not a good idea. Mm, no. <laughs> as much as you, you want to believe that you're friends with your ex, uh, no, you never get a friend. You can't be. Yeah, you know. Yeah, somebody, number one, if it's an ex, somebody got on top of the relationship. They got out on top. You know, another right. person can always be a little bit pissed. Right. You know, so you can't ever be friends. I you talked to never... my ex girlfriend from, uh, I mean, from years ago. I thought we could be friends. She married now, got three kids. Mm -hmm. I thought we could be friends, but no, because she still got an ex to grind. Because she think I got the better of her. Mm -hmm. Now she still want to kind of get back at me, you know. So mm -hmm. you can't, you can't do it. You can never date too because it's like your ex was bringing over their oh, boyfriend yeah. or date for the night. Then you pissed. Yeah, wow. Well, uh, yeah, it don't work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. We'll still be friends. Either they, they want to get back at you in some way. Right. They're not over you in some way. There you go. They can't let the shit go. Right. They're too afraid to move on with their lives. Yeah. So why do you need that thing? Yeah, because... Unless it's a long time and been through some shit together. Yeah. Like deaths or, you know, you know yeah, tried yeah. surgeries or children. or That's a little different. But right. in general... There's only one ex-girlfriend or whatever I'd like to see again, you know. I she's in Boston somewhere. Just to, you know, just to catch up because we were friends. We were friends before we were lovers. <laughs> oh. Yeah, just to catch up, I would like to know how she's doing. Were you together for a while? Oh, all high school and a couple of years in college and stuff. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. And it wasn't like we broke up because of anything we did, you know, yeah. just, you know, distance and, you know, that type of thing. But she's preaching now. I forgot about that. Really? Yeah. I, I sent a couple into the ministry now. That's <laughs> the Yeah. See, my husband was with a chick when his mom died. And that's some emotional shit. But he's not even really friends with her. Like, he bumped into her in passing a few times. And, you know, they killed a couple hours. But not like, it's not like they would hang out. Yeah. You know? 
I always think that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, this was a chick, and I mean, she, you know, had them accoutrements like I like olive skin, dark hair, and I was like, why? You know, somebody I was just crazy about. Mm -hmm. So now um, she used to come check on me, like if she come to town for, she was living in Minnesota, and she, you know, just stop by the funeral home and speak. So um, after I got married, she wanted to go out to dinner, and I was like, no shit, no, I can't mm -hmm. do that, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Hmm. So after that, she didn't come check on me anymore. And of course, when I got divorced, I wanted to come by and I looked for her and couldn't find her. So then I found out she moved to Boston and uh, she was going into the ministry or something. Hmm. But, she, you know, she's a nice chick. Huh. I guess a friendship thing can work out sometimes. I don't know. <coughs> Very rare circumstances, though. Yeah. Sure. No questions asked. They're having some exciting fun here. The phone. It's so damn boring. I'm going to have to do like this. All right, Mom, wrap it up. Come on, Mom. My mom and my dad, they're both exactly the same. They can make a five-minute conversation at least an hour because they just talk so, you know. I know it's real. Oh,